My BFI player choice this week is an Oscar-nominated wonder from veteran Polish director Jerzy Skolimowski, which takes inspiration from Robert Bresson's 1966 French masterpiece O.S.R. Balthazar, but remains very much its own beast, E.O. This film was made out of our love for animals and nature, says a closing intertitle, reassuring viewers that the animals' well-being on set was always our first priority. Well, that's good to know because the world through which this titular donkey travels includes its fair share of violent encounters with bestial humans. There are the football hooligans who beat him because they believe his braying lost them a game. There's the furrier who snaps caged foxes' necks and gets a hoof in the face for his troubles. There's the illegal flesh trader who sells EO for salami and the donkey's unexpected friend who confesses that he's eaten hundreds of kilograms of meat, including donkey. Yet there are also moments of heart-stopping tenderness and beauty as EO teases smiles of joy from children at a petting zoo and inspires aching love and devotion in the young woman with whom we first meet him performing at a circus. Cinematographer Mikhail Dimek mixes handheld realism with dreamy poetic magic, often focusing upon EO's dark eyes which seem like vast pools of understanding. There's a touch of the dark fairy tale flavour of Charles Lawton's The Night of the Hunter about a sequence in which EO ventures downstream, watched by crawling spiders and screeching owls caught in the laser beams of rifle sights. A thrillingly inventive and at times experimental score by Pavel Mikiatin highlights the shifting tones of Skolimowski and co-writer Eva Pieskowska's vision, simultaneously down to earth and out of this world. And then, just when you least expect it, Isabelle Huppert appears to remind us of the incestuous absurdity of humanity, all of it filtered through the doleful eyes of a lowly beast within whose gaze we may see ourselves. 